Hey guys, I'm Tyra Kopstock and welcome to my channel. I represent Frontline Academy and I'm a student under Eduardo Teta Rios. I'm a full-time Jiu-Jitsu athlete and instructor and I created this page to share my techniques, training and Jiu-Jitsu journey with you. Feel free to like and subscribe and welcome to the family. Os. Hey guys, welcome to another week here at the beginner's course and today we're gonna go through some mount escapes. So last week we went through some attacks but now I'm gonna be the guy on bottom trying to escape the dominant position, okay? So we're gonna start off with a very simple variant, uh, the upa escape, probably you've heard of it, maybe you've seen it before. Uh, and the second one, the foot drag escape, uh, which is probably the one I use most uh, with bigger guys or guys I can't uh, unbalance, right? So. Starting with the upa escape here. Very nice and simple. Krish is on top and just so you guys understand, he's posting with his hands out on the floor. This prevents me from unbalancing Christian. okay? So what I'm looking for here is a moment where one of his arms is maybe close to my body, maybe he's grabbing my collar, depends on the scenario. For example, this, right? He's setting up a cross call, uh, cross stroke maybe, or he wants to go for the honor bar. It depends on the scenario. But what I'm trying to do is isolate one side here, his arm, okay? I want to prevent him from posting it on the floor here to this side. So I like to always go on top of this arm and I want to cup it and hold with both of my hands, okay? If you feel like he's posting his hand out here and you wanna bring it to you, I usually always clasp my hands together and I try to go right on top of the elbow joint here and bring it in like this. So he feels like it's kind of like a T-Rex arm here, okay? On the same side, probably you should go take it back. Whoop. <laughs> on the same side here that I isolated the arm, I'm gonna try to go over his leg with my heel here, okay? So I want to prevent him from getting his foot out and basting off with his leg, okay? So I've isolated his arm, I've isolated his leg here, that's when I can start to do the upa escape, right? So I'm gonna hip thrust and I'm gonna bridge over my shoulder here, okay? So I'm gonna go up here and all the way over, most likely 100% of the time, maybe 99, you will end up in the uh, close guard here, okay? But anyways, you went from bottom to top, which is a improvement, basically. So, uh, I'll do one time here without Christian, so you guys see the movement. You've probably also done this as a warm-up. So, I'm bridging over my shoulder here, okay? When I'm bridging, I also want to clap my hands together, trap his arm, trap his leg, bridge, and now follow through, okay? So, here again, the Christian. So, I isolate his arm. Boom, trap his leg, bridge, and all the way up, okay? The concept of isolating the arm, it doesn't have to be necessarily this grip. You can grab the sleeve, you can grab the back of his armpit. There's a couple ways to do it, but this was just a very simple and basic way. So you guys can do it, okay? Awesome. Okay guys, so we're gonna go a little bit further. Uh, this one is more technical and perhaps uh, it will take you longer time to perfectionate, uh, perfectionate it. But again, it's more effective with bigger guys, especially when they have good balance and they know when to post and uh, like pummel their arms, right? So going for the mount position here or bottom mount position. And this could be, for example, I tried to do the first one, but he's always good at getting his arm out and posting on the floor and he's making it really hard for me, okay? So this time, just so you guys can see, uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna create a frame, okay? So I want a frame in front of me, okay? So we're gonna turn here, so you guys can see even better. So up, 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 oh. So here, I'm gonna put this hand on his hip bone here, and I'm gonna put my elbow on his other hip bone here, okay? I'm gonna create a shelf with this hand underneath my hand, and I want now to bring this elbow on the inside of Christian's thigh here, okay? So this is gonna be my frame, okay? Of course, I always got to be aware of what's happening with my head. If he's in a deep choke here, like this, or maybe he's even grabbing the other collar like this, I'm not going to be having my hands down by his hips, right? I have to defend my head first, remove his grips, and then I can start moving here, okay? So 
what you're gonna notice, once I have the frame here, watch how I'm gonna hip escape a little bit to the side so I can get my elbow in here. And I'm moving, so I'm tilting my body to this side here, okay? I'm not laying flat, and I'm not giving him my back too much, okay? There's a difference. So you want to tilt your body slightly to the side here and keep this frame on his hip, okay? On the same side here, watch how he's not having his leg underneath my leg. Now he's trapping me and it's making it hard. So I have to make sure that I'm straightening my leg and putting it parallel to his leg here, okay? This way, I can now bring my top leg over and hook with the back of my heel here and pull his shin in between my legs here, okay? So I want to squeeze his leg in between my thighs. This is going to put him into a quarter guard, a quarter mount, quarter guard, quarter mount, same thing. But here, it's going to be hard for him to start uh, moving forward, right? And now I want to keep going. I want to push his knee in between my legs. So this knee here, I want to trap it even further down. To do that, I'm going to push with my elbow, but I'm also going to pull this bottom knee up. Okay? So here, push, pull. Okay, once I have gotten over his knee, I can still keep it tight, but I wanna now turn in towards Krishna here. I have nothing to do in this direction, but I have everything to do in this direction. When I go, I'm gonna turn, and I wanna make sure I'm framing, okay? So, when I'm turning here, I don't wanna end up flat in half guard. This is gonna be a bad situation, but again, I escaped the mount, which is good. But here, I wanna make sure I'm framing and using my hands here. Ideally, I can go straight into an underhook, maybe even for an attack, right? So starting from the mount here again. Boom. Going for the frame, make sure that you move your body to the side here. I'm gonna step over, make sure that I can pull his shin over my knee here, okay? Now I'm gonna press his knee down. If you feel like you can't reach with your elbow, you can of course use your hand to push. Most of the time I feel like the elbow is enough. So you can just push, bring your knee over, and now turn back in, okay? So when I turn, just so you guys see, I'm here, I'm going in towards him here, okay? And I'm not really flattening myself too much out. I wanna make this transition as smooth as possible where I go for the underhook and frame in front of me the whole time, okay? One last time here. Boom. And we have a guard again, okay? Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys liked it. Please like and subscribe. We'll Hey guys, welcome to another week here at the beginner's course and today we're gonna go through some mount escapes. So last week we did some attacks from top, now we're gonna be escaping from bottom and we're gonna start off with a very basic variant, uh, the UPA escape. You might have seen it, you might have learned it uh, and we're gonna start off with that one and then we're gonna do a more technical uh, variation afterwards, the foot drag escape, okay? So starting in the bottom mount position here, Christian is on mount and Things we have to kind of keep in mind is his base, right? So I can I can bump him over as much as I want, but as long as he can he can post his hand on the floor here, he's always going to prevent me from pushing him over and uh, getting him off balance, right? Maybe we should move it a bit more back. Yeah. So what I want to do here is to isolate one side and one arm here. Okay. So to do that, I'm just going to grab palm to palm here, and I'm going to bring my elbows tight to my body. Okay. And I don't have to keep this for long, okay? It most likely if I hold it for longer than two seconds, he's gonna be escaping his arm and then he's out again, right? So I have to time it. As I go, I'm gonna go with my legs as well, okay? So here with the legs, I'm now gonna step over with my heel over his leg here, okay? So I wanna trap and prevent his leg from coming out and posting onto the floor here. So if I bump him here, he's gonna be able to use this leg to post and widen his base, okay? So I want to stop that by keeping my heel over his leg here. And so that now, if I start pushing him, he doesn't have any arm or leg to post on the floor, okay? So when I'm bridging, I'm gonna bridge over my shoulder here on the same side that I've isolated his arm and his leg, okay? So using my heels on the floor, I'm gonna push up, boom, 
and follow through, okay? And most likely you will end up in a close guard. It's just the way it is. Uh, if he doesn't take the close guard, then you're a lucky man, right? Or woman. <laughs> so just so you guys see the movement here first. So I'm here with my heels on the floor, right? I've trapped his arm, I've trapped his leg. I'm now gonna bridge over my shoulder here, okay? Now I can proceed to follow through a walk into the top position, okay? Of course, it's an explosive move. You're not gonna do a slow motion in real time, but it takes practice to learn the movement there as well. So here again, I'm gonna isolate the arm, bring it tight to me, keep it there for at least two seconds, maybe half a second, that's all you need, right? Trap the leg, bump his hips up and bridge over your shoulder. Right? Once you're here, just focus on getting out of the close guard. And again, it's a much better situation. You're on top and you can start to actually uh, get yourself out from there as well. Okay? Okay guys, so we're gonna go a little bit further here and we're gonna do the foot drag escape. So this one is more technical and it takes a little bit more practice, uh, but I'm, I have no doubt that you guys will figure it out. So here, same scenario. Christian is in the mount, and what I want to do here is I want to create a frame here in front of his hips, okay? So I'm going to place my hand here on his hip, and I'm going to bring my elbow across and block the opposite hip here, okay? So this hand is just framing like this. This other arm, I'm going to try to bring it on the inside of Christian's thigh here, okay? Sometimes it's going to be hard to squeeze it in, okay? So you want to hip escape to create space, okay? So you're going to move yourself back get that arm in, jam it in here, and then you have a little bit of a shelf here where you're gonna frame this uh, hip here, okay? So you're gonna put this hand on top of the shelf and block, okay? At the same time, watch how I'm always tilting my body to the side here. I'm not flat, I'm not too much on my side. This is gonna give him the back take. He's gonna be able to go for some attacks from there, right? So I wanna make sure that I'm almost like looking 45 degrees up towards the ceiling here, okay? So second thing here, I'm gonna be stretching out my leg on the same side here, okay? Sometimes his leg might be underneath my thigh like this, that's bad. So I wanna make sure that I'm stretching my leg out and coming right so I'm parallel to his leg here, okay? This way now, I can start to look to hook with my top leg. So I'm gonna hook and bring his shin in between my thighs, okay? Be also aware that you can always actively push with this elbow here, okay? This elbow and in the inside of his thigh is gonna help you create the, the distance or the, how should I say it? Let's say if he was really high up here, okay? Sometimes you'll feel like you can't really catch his leg here, okay? But you wanna make sure you push his leg down so you actually can reach it with your leg and then pull it in, okay? Once you have this, you can start looking to bring his knee in between your legs as well, okay? I'm gonna be pushing with my elbow here, but I'm also gonna bring my knee up towards me, okay? So it's two movements, pushing and pulling, okay? Once I have his knee in between my legs, I've kind of gotten into the half guard that I wanted, okay? Now, I wanna make sure that I turn into him safely, okay? So make sure that you can now move your arms up and frame in front of your face, so you don't end up in a flat, off guard position here. Of course, you could say it's an improvement from the mount position, but you still wanna work uh, the best you can, right? So you're gonna go here, frame, and come back into whatever guard you wanna play, okay? So, a little bit different angle. So I'm framing here, guys. And in no gi, I'm not too afraid of what he's gonna do to my neck as much as in the gi. Like, he might hold it a little bit. Okay, that's gonna make it hard. If he really cross faces me, then I might have to change the, to the other side, okay? But in the gi, he might choke me. That's a, that's a thing I have to be aware of when he's trying to go for my head. So here, I'm framing. I'm gonna chop my leg over and catch his shin, okay? Push his knee down, and now I have him in the half guard, okay? Wanna turn in, frame, and I can bring my knee up 
and have a good guard here to go, okay? Very important, guys, if you can get your hands in front of him like this to begin with, you will also prevent a lot of these scenarios where he really gets you flat, okay? One last time. You. Right? Was. Hope you guys liked it. And as always, please like and subscribe. See you guys next time.